Time for the Coca-Cola 600. Charlotte Motor Speedway plays host to NASCAR's longest race. One of the greatest days of racing. It waves here at Charlotte. Let's go racing for those that made the ultimate sacrifice, boys. We're all 600 miles. We got this. 400 last 600 miles. 600 miles. Mentally, that last 100 miles, that's what it's all about. Only guacamole, buddy. Coca-Cola 600, that's true. amazing show for you. We got quite the lineup. And my co-host, Miss Amy Long, how are you doing? Hey everyone, I'm doing great. It's so great to be out here with NASCAR Trackside Live. We brought this back for you guys. So this was built on racing, but fueled by you, the fans. Give yourself but, a round of applause. Come yeah, on, fans. Course, That's right. Thank you. So NASCAR Trackside Live, it's driver appearances, it's fan engagement, it's VIP prizes. You guys like prizes, don't you? Of course. And guess what, we want you to get involved as well. So if you have any questions for our drivers that we have coming up, just go ahead and tweet them, hashtag NASCAR Trackside. We'll make sure to get those questions answered for you. Also, if you can't make it to the track, we got you. We got you on NASCAR.com, which all of you are on NASCAR.com NASCAR right now. Yeah. And we got an amazing show for you today. How about make some noise for Kyle Busch? Y'all wanna see Kyle come up here? That's, that's about what I figured about yeah. having up. We've also got Ty Dillon. How about some noise for Ty? First race here at the Coke 600. Then we also have Daniel Hemrick's gonna be joining us. And we have Big Earl, the spotter for Jimmy Johnson. Playing games, hanging out with you guys. So we're so excited to have you guys here. Welcome again to NASCAR Trackside Live. Woo! You know what? We just had an amazing concert here. I wasn't done though, I wasn't done. Are you not done? No, I wanna see more Big and Rich. All right, you know what? How Let's about we bring them up right rich? now? Let's bring them up, it's Big and Rich. Come on up here. Oh man, guys, thank you so much. Amazing concert you guys just put on. I gotta ask right off the top, talk a little bit about the partnership with M&Ms, one for the troops, one for the fans. Amazing, amazing deal you guys got going on. Thanks with them. Hashtag thanks with them. We wanna make sure that a hundred, a million, a hundred million thank yous go out there all over the world where our troops are right now. We've been so fortunate to work with the good people at Mars and M&Ms are good people at NASCAR, are good friends at Walmart, to do some good in the world, man. And right here today, I'm telling you, this affects all of us. This is our families, our friends, our communities. Everyone, everywhere, can we say a big thank you to the troops? Make some noise! Yeah. Thank, you. Yeah. thank you. Thank you. Now, you know, we're about to just kick off the Coca-Cola 600, 600 miles. It's gonna take them about four hours, 30 minutes, around that time. Have you guys ever played a four hour, 30 minute concert? Do you know what that's like? Uh, no, but we've uh, we pulled some all-nighters, big and rich style, so I guess that would count. No, it, it's pretty incredible uh, to see those drivers and the talent that goes in with that to do 600 miles in four plus hours. I mean, it's, it's the, one of the greatest American lap. sporting events in the world right here in North Carolina going on today, Whoa. no doubt. Woo! So it's such a blast to have you guys. Thank you for the amazing show. Fans, how about a big round of applause again for Big and Rich! Thanks so much for coming, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. All thank right, you all. thank you so much. Well, you know what? We're going to do a little look back at qualifying for the Coca-Cola 600 here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Save a horse, right? This is a, a, a big race for our sport. Well, it's certainly nice to just have the speed right now. Uh, it's been good. Casey Kane on the clock, trying to improve from 28. Gonna be close. He's in, 18. Oh, yeah. Danica Patrick, who is on the hot seat now. 
And Dale Jr. out for another run, trying to break into the top dozen. Kyle Busch on the clock. Kyle Larson. Well, he's the co-favorite to win the race. He's definitely one of the favorites to win the pole here, and I believe he has about one minute to go, but the time is ticking down for Kyle Larson. Harvick, 27.94. Now we're talking. He picks up four tenths of a second. Good job, guys. That 21 car has been one of the fastest cars all year long. I mean, the guy just waiting to win a race. Ford Boyer, second to his teammate Harvick, 28.17. He picked up four tenths of a second. Hamlin in in tenth. Johnson is out. Keslowski bounces. Stenhouse. Harvick has won the Coors Light Pole for Sunday night's Coca-Cola 600. All in all, our, our Mobile One, uh, Jimmy John's Bush Ford was fast, so it was definitely breathtaking, I guess you could say, uh, all three laps because it was so edgy to drive. But all in all, I guess they say loose is fast. But just really proud of my guys, and, and that's a good start to a long night. And here's your starting lineup for the Coca-Cola 600. At number four, we've got Kevin Harvick. Make some noise yeah. Kevin Harvick, come on. Then we have Mr. Eminem himself, Kyle Busch. Yeah. We have the all-star popularity vote, Chase Elliott. Ooh, nice, yeah. Chase Elliott. Matt Kenseth and Eric Jones. That's right, and of course, if you may have seen that also Ryan Blaney yeah. in seventh place, and Ryan Blaney, he won the Xfinity race he yesterday, did. came on the show with us, that was he pretty cool. He by here yesterday, absolutely. And speaking of those Xfinity results, Blaney, of course, ended up number one, gives a great interview afterwards, too. Then we have Kevin Harvick, hmm, I've heard his name before. And then we also have Austin Dillon. I know, we got lots of fun lined up. It's Keep Austin blast. Dillon's name fresh in your mind, too, because he's going to be on the show a little later. Definitely, it's gonna be fun. So are you guys ready for NASCAR Trackside Live? Are y'all ready to do this thing? Come on, I need y'all to make some noise, all yeah. right? Well, speaking of Xfinity drivers, we've got one here with us right now. Let's bring up to the stage, come on. Finish 13th, number 21, Daniel Everett. Come on down, Daniel! Hey, how's everybody doing? Hey. Good to see you. How you doing? Come on right here, stand, stand in between us right there. How are you? This place is rowdy. I know, are y'all having fun? Hey, come on, they're making some noise. What do you got? What do you got for us? You got some stuff here? Hang on, let's see if the fans figure it out. Oh, nice, look at that throw. Nice. He's got, nice. got the arm on the right over here. That's right, that's right. Like Big thank you to Fanatics, by the way, we're hooking us up for some gear. Daniel Hammock, you got quite the arm on you there. I like yeah, that. that. was terrible, that was terrible. Maybe one more, come on, one, one more, more right there. Get the wind up. Long, get the long shot. Oh, nice. nice. Oh, the wind, I didn't play the wind. Awesome. So, Daniel, tell us a little bit about the race yesterday. I know it was hot, it was slickery, but uh, it looks like you were having some fun. You like that? <laughs> I like that. Out yeah, that it was a ton of fun, man. We um, had a good time. We got in a little crash there early, had the fight from the back, slipping and sliding all over the place. This, uh, it's gonna be a heck of a race today. Hope his fans are ready. Um, I'm not sure about you, but I'm gonna go with Earnhardt Jr. as my pick before anybody can even ask. That's right, I figured that'd be a popular vote. So uh, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be an exciting race. Definitely, it's gonna be exciting and fun. Amy, you got a question for Daniel? Yeah, I do. Actually, I follow you on social media, and I know you like to post a lot of social videos, correct? I do, I is do. it quite all right if we get these fans yeah, in one of these social videos of yours? What do you say, guys? Is that quite all right with you? Yeah? Yeah, so maybe we turn around and get a shot with everybody in it. What do you think, fans? Yeah, you wanna be in the shot good. here? Come on, you gotta get in. All right, come everybody on, here get we in. go. Right. One, two. What's up, everybody? Let's go, Trucks on Live! Woo! I tell you what, awesome. you got to go watch so Daniel's much. videos. It's really, really cool. Uh, Daniel, so talk a little bit about the racing here at Charlotte Motor Speedway and the fans here. I mean, this is like it's hometown, incredible. right? It is. It's hometown. You know, for the fans that don't know, I'm actually from here, Kannapolis, North Carolina, born and raised. So it's uh, it's cool to be here. It's cool to see all you guys out here, man. This is it's so electric. It's probably one of the first Sundays I've been able to be here in the last couple of years. So uh, cool to be here on the weekend and what it means. Um, the race now thinks me better than ever. Uh, Marcus Smith and everybody, you know, Bruton Smith and SMI, done a great job applying the substance to the racetrack. It's going to let this racetrack get really wide throughout the day, throughout the night. Um, I'm telling you, it's going to be a ton of fun, and everybody's going to the edge of the seats. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. Yeah, we'll definitely have some fans on the edge of their seats. We also have some fans out here. One that has a question for you right over Perfect. here, Daniel. What's your name and where are you from? Logan, I'm from uh, Fort Myers, Florida. Logan. Awesome. So what's your question? What you got? Uh, in yesterday's race, uh, did the heat really affect it and make a big difference? Yeah, the, the, the heat is huge. Um, I feel like yesterday at Xfinity race, we raced right now, so pretty much the hottest part of the day. We were you go in on the bottom of the racetrack, and everybody says, why does the racetrack get really wide? You know, two and three lanes. It's because you go in, you just slide. 
And as every driver starts to slide, the rubber gets put down, and that's when you start seeing two and three wide racing. And the stuff I was just talking about, the, the sticky stuff they put on the racetrack, it actually makes it really greasy in the sun, but as the nighttime comes around, Charlotte's typically a bottom racetrack. I don't think it's going to be the case. I think the heat's going to have a big effect on how the racetrack takes rubber, and that's going to make for a good race. Awesome. awesome. Great, Great question. We got some fantastic prizes for you. We're going to hook you up. How about a big round of applause for our fan question? Yeah. Also, Daniel Hemrick, thank you so yeah, much for joining us on NASCAR Trackside Live. How about a big round of applause for Daniel Hemrick? Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Yeah. Thank Enjoy you. yourself, but stick around because we've got interviews with Kyle Busch coming up. We still have Ty Dillon about to take the stage. We also have Big Earl, the spotter Big Earl. We don't want to miss that either. We have more games, VIP prizes, of course. First, let's listen to uh, what those scanners sounded like at the All-Star races last weekend. Way to go, guys. of an all-star race. Green flag, a million dollars on the line. I think the 14th in violation, uh, the rule, is on green left and yellow right. So uh, I was told you couldn't do that. The 14th got green left on, so I'd appreciate some uh, attention from the power on that one. The rule says you got to use them as a set. We did use the greens as a set, but then when we came down, we just did right side tires. We're clear. Let's go get them. They did exactly what the rule says. They put them all on at once to get track position. Michael Bugaravich brought Clint Boyer in and put the right side yellow zone, and we are being told that that's totally legal. NASCAR just updated the two team told crew chief Paul Wolf, you are not able to use those option tires again. You already had them on your race car. Paul told his driver, take care of the tires you have. That's that's all we have. Care here. We're gonna run these at the next stage, so take care of them. It's way too late for that, Paul. Well, it's way too late for a lot of things. Just take care of them. Spray green flag, green flag. That guy's gonna run from behind. They're gonna try to go through the grass. One back, one back. Good out back. Tight behind you. Watch left, 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 left. Inside. Oh, the 42. Larson gets in the left rear of the two. Yikes. Adam. Yeah, I guess you can lag back three car lanes, huh? That's okay. Out front, the candy man, Kyle Busch, wins the all-star race. Wow. After 12 years of trying. Ah, yeah, boys! Yes! Yes! Bailey! Do you say go ahead? Great effort, buddy. Way to hang. You did it, man. Proud of you. Good job, Hershma. Good job, team. Got that monkey off our back. Awesome job, team. Way to dig in there, boys. Nice stop of the day. That's all we wanted. Awesome. Yes! Hello, everybody. Welcome back to NASCAR Trackside Live. Are y'all having a good time out there today? I love it. Well, make sure you stick around. We got Kyle Busch, Ty Dillon, ton of games and prizes for you guys. But before we get kicked off with that, a big thank you to Racing Electronics. They provided our next guest for us. For nearly three decades, Racing Electronics has been the number one choice for scanners, headsets, and the popular fan vision handheld unit. Racing Electronics provides the ultimate fan experience for the ultimate race fan. So make sure you go check them out. They're over at Gate 5. You gotta see their flagship store. It's really, really cool. But they provided us a special guest today, so if you would, please welcome to the stage the spotter of the number 48, Jimmy Johnson. Bring him up here, Big Earl! And Big Earl's got some prizes for you there. Oh, look at that. Look, nicely done. Thank you again to Fanatics for hooking us up. Big hey, Earl, man. have a seat, man, relax. You, you're gonna be standing all day, I know that. So I'm, have a seat right. sit down. 600 miles worth. That's right, that's a long Hey, the, long the last time that we were on stage, <laughs> we, the last you're going, time that, the you're last, going right to it. Yeah, the last it. time that we were on stage, we were eating out of a diaper. <laughs> so that I brought true. something for you, you know, Please so it might taste us. a little bit better than that. Oh, I'm not man. sure. Thank you so yeah, much. Now tell them who, tell them who won, though. Uh, you know what? I, I got to say, I think you won, if I'm not mistaken. Now, I got to set it up for you because we were at Bristol Motor Speedway. We were playing a, ga a game with some drivers, and we brought Big Earl in. And it was guess the candy bar game. And we took a candy bar and put it in a diaper. And they were supposed to just look at it, right? Right. And you just took the diaper and like just rawr, took a big bite of it. <laughs> well, I was here to win. That's what we come here today for the 600 to, to win. And, uh, you know, so everything that we do, we try to win. I, lo I love it. Now talk a little bit about it because this is the longest race of the season. 
at 600 miles, four and a half hours. Uh, how do you guys do it, spotters especially? You're all the way up there in the blazing sun. How do you survive? Do you prep for that? What do you do to get ready for this thing? Well, for myself, it's pretty easy. You know, the driver himself, he's got to go out there and run for four, for 600 miles, 400 laps. So um, I'd have to say that anything, anything complaining would be would be terrible on my side. So I make sure that uh, you know, bring some uh, Gatorade up there. And, uh, and some water and maybe a snack or something like that. Uh, you know, the preparation that we have is really just our radios, our headsets, uh, fan visions, you know, things like that that we can do our job with, uh, you know, which is, uh, you know, definitely supplied by uh, RE radios, and, uh, and it's a lot of fun. So talk a little bit about that relationship, because it's back and forth between, obviously, you, the driver, maybe some of our new fans here. What, what are some things that go on in that uh, conversation? We, we get to hear some of it out here. We do. Our radios are broadcast live. You know, anyone can uh, pick up a scanner or a fan vision and listen to us talk back and forth. Uh, so myself, Jimmy, and Chad will be talking on the radio during the race. My job is to, uh, you know, look far enough ahead and uh, let him know what's happening. And, uh, we know, we're, our main job is there for safety. Uh, if we can give him a little bit of a competitive advantage by letting him know some different lines other people are taking that look fast, or if we can, uh, you know, let him know that there's a car trying to overtake them or when they're clear, you know, so the, the visibility is pretty much straight out the windshield, and we just kind of paint a picture of what's around him. Awesome. Well, we got a fan question out here in the fan. We got Amy down in the crowd. Amy, where are you at down there? Hey, big girl, we're over here. Oh, nice, right over there. You got a question for big girl? So descriptive, isn't it? <laughs> we do have a fan question for you. What's your name and where are you from? My name's Melissa, I'm from Forest City, North Carolina. From Forest City, North Carolina, and what's your question for Big Earl? What is the hardest track to spot, do you think? I think that the hardest place to spot, there's three of them, I guess, and that'd be Daytona and Talladega because you're, you're always in a pair of binoculars, it's so far away and they're side by side and it's three wide most of the day. Uh, Pocono is very difficult because you're looking about a mile down into turn one. They fan out the five wide, so it gets a little exciting there. And then anywhere that you uh, don't have where you don't get to see the car that often. You know, we go to Watkins Glen and we have to uh, let somebody else spot for us in three different positions. So that, that's a little taxing. Awesome, awesome. Good, good fan question. question. We, we got, got some prizes, prizes for that fan down there. Fantastic. We got some swag for some NASCAR track side live swag. How about we hook up with that? Awesome, awesome. awesome. Thanks, Jose, back to you. Hey, awesome. hey I wanna, Thanks, I wanna uh, really have a shout out. You know, this is a really special weekend, Memorial weekend and, and want to uh, salute all the troops and uh, you know, make sure that everybody that's defended our country and uh, really have a, a great admiration for them. And we're really proud to uh, recognize that on our card this weekend. Hey, man, it's so cool to see all of the Cup guys out there with uh, the names on the hood or right on the windshield. Check those out. Read their stories. They're really amazing. Uh, now, Big Girl, you're going to stick around with us and play a game with a fan, right? Yes, sir. I'm it gonna, doesn't involve I, you know, diapers. I'm going to win, though, because we came here to win. <laughs> I love it. That's awesome. Well, stick around. We've got Kyle Busch. We've got Ty Dillon, a bunch of stuff. But you know what? First of all, let's take a look at the Xfinity highlights from yesterday. Amazing action. It's time for NASCAR, a home game at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Here we go. Christopher Bell spinning. Debris. Daniel Hemmer going the other way. Slides into the wall. Wow. Oh, man. Brad Keselowski trying to get one more spot. Kevin Harvick was able to win stage one, and nobody going to get to Ryan Blaney. Pretty much wire to wire in stage two. Adjustments for Harvick, fourth to second on the restart. Three wide behind him. Hamlin stuck in the middle. Oh, Spencer Gallagher around. Ryan Blaney able to get around his good friend Bubba Wallace. Already may have picked up a piece of paper on the grill. Harvick going to try and run him down from the inside. Ryan Blaney trying to come back here, Chris. He's third. There's Randall Burnett. You're clear. Hold your line. Hold your line. Bring it around as easy as you can, bud. Nothing to just make sure we stay in the race here. Look at Hamlin up to four. On board oh. with Harvick in the inside lane. Sadler around. I'm still out of line, half back, trying to get down there. How did Bell get back in the top ten, much less knock it on the door of a top five? Darrell Wallace Jr. into the wall. That was a great start by Blaney on the bottom. White flag in the air, one lap to go. Sponsored by Credit, one bang. Can Ryan Blaney hang on? Harvick trying to chase him down. Number five, Ryan Blaney does it in Charlotte. Oh, yeah, Blaney, nice work. You are the man. And just remember, and it's 
Ryan Blaney who delivers. Ryan Blaney wins in Charlotte. Excited, and we have a very special game that we like to call the spotter game. Now, big girl, are you ready to be a spotter with your brand new driver next to you? I am. All right, Let's fantastic. Amy, who do we have over here? The brand new driver next to you. What's your name and where are you from? Lisa Tucker from Buffalo, West Virginia. Oh, West Virginia? <laughs> Definitely. And a Jimmy Johnson fan. I uh, like that. Awesome. Now, Lisa, if you are winning, this is what you'll win. Driver intro passes. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. I like this that. This is what's at stake here. Now, I'll explain the rules. Here's how this game goes. You get to be a spotter. Surprise. You are going to be the driver. Now, what's going to happen? We're going to give you a set of symbols. And you have to stand over there on that mark. We're going to put the spotter over here. And you get a tennis ball. You have to bounce it one time. And she has to catch it with the symbols. You guys think you can handle that? Yes. Okay, so let's move to our places this. right here. You got this. And I'm going to give you right some symbols. Here. here you go. If you would stand over there with Miss Amy, and you get a bucket right here. All right. I don't now, need this, do I? This is, you know, you, unless you want to commentate, that's fine. So here's how this is going to work. One bounce, catch it with the symbol, and you're going to have 60 seconds to get three of them. All right. Are you ready to do this? I think, I think you've got this. No, 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 no. Let's try one. Let's do this. Case. Come on. Here we go. What do you guys think? Are you all ready to see this spotter game? All right. Here we go. Big girl, one bounce. Let's try it. This is a test. Woo! Oh. Hey, I think You've they got it, before. Jose. I yeah. know. You know what? I feel like that's a little too easy. I'm thinking we should up the ante. What do you say we blindfold the driver here? Oh. Shall we? We shall. Here we go. All right, I'll take those sunglasses from you. That's right. We're going to blindfold the driver. Here we go. Big girl, you got skills over there. Juggling, spotting, motorcycle riding. I like it. All right. Now, as a spotter, you're going to have to tell her when to close the symbols because now she can't see. All right, I'll do it. I'm okay. ready. Okay, now here's the deal. You've got 60 seconds to get three of them. No pressure. Joey Logano and his fan got 10 in 60 Ten. seconds. I know, I know. All right, are we ready? Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Count down on the count of three, two, two one. one. Let's go racing, spotter. Oh! Oh, here, you're going to need this. You're going to need this. Here, you're going to need this. There you go. Ready, close. Oh! Ready, close. Oh, a little early. Ready, close. Oh. Ready, close. <laughs> Ready, close. Oh. Oh. We got one. Come on, keep going. 36 Ready, seconds. Close. Oh, so close. Ready, Come on. close. Oh. You got 30 Ready, seconds left. Ready, close. Ready, close. Yeah. Yeah. 25 Ready, seconds. Ready, close. Yeah. Yes. We Ready. got another. Keep, keep going, keep going. going. Close. Yes, yeah. more. Ready, close. Oh, oh we got four. Ready, Come on. Close. Oh. Three, two, two close. one. Oh, Woo! time's up. Oh. oh, that was stressful. That was, there we are. <laughs> there, that we, did like get, we, did, we did win, though, right? Three. You did. You got, congratulations. So you win driver introduction passes. All right. You got, you got five, five total. total. How about a big round of applause for our winner, yeah. our driver over here? Yeah. Did that feel like you were actually uh, spotting a race there, uh, big girl? Uh, that was awesome. You know, we were here to win, and we won. We got, uh, we got some great uh, driver's intro passes. That's awesome. I don't recommend blindfolding drivers often. <laughs> but during this, is, I think it's pretty funny. That is funny. That, I, I awesome. wouldn't do that, though. Well, thank you again to Big Girl. Big round of thank applause. You. Thank Coming you. up and joining Brian, us here. Hey, man, and again, one more time, you know, thanks to Veterans Memorial Day. And go get your fan vision so you can listen to us. That's right. Tune in. It's going to be fun to watch him out there. Another round of applause for Big Girl. Now you're going to want to stick around. We got Kyle Bush, we got Ty Dillon, we got a ton more games and prizes for you guys, the fans. We do. And I was able to catch up with Greg Olson. No. I was. Last weekend, All-Star all Week. Yeah, that's right. That's Panthers tied in, Greg Olson. Let's take a look and see. I think they were playing a uh, Guess the m and color game. The &M game. Let's take a look at it. Hey, welcome to Trackside Live.
we're here with Greg Olson and Austin, and we're actually really looking forward to, day, to today the Coke 600. Are you guys looking forward to the race? It's going to be awesome. It's, it, I've been out now a couple times, and it's a long day, but it's, it's super exciting to have it here in our hometown. Um, yeah. It's pretty special. I'm really excited because I'm a huge Panthers fan, sitting in one of the greats right here, <laughs> and uh, I get to watch him on Sunday. He's finally getting to watch us on Sunday awesome. and in Charlotte, so for a long race of the year. Yeah, the longest race of the year. The like longest. you said, you'll be sitting there for a while. What do you bring, like a cushion to sit on? Well, or? it's easy for us. We get to move around and go check it out. I don't know how these guys do it. They're sitting in the same seat. They can't go yep. for a drink. They can't go for a, for a beer. You know, they're just, they're locked in, focused. I don't know how they do it. This race means so much in this town. So talk to me a little bit more about the traditions here and just what Charlotte means to you and what it's like to be racing in the hometown. And for me, it's, it's family, you know, getting to come here. We race all over the country. Uh, 36 times a year and to come here and, and just enjoy the atmosphere getting fan, fans that are friends and family here we got our guys like Greg Olson and Luke coming to the races some too and um, it's just a blast to come home and, and show off in front of your hometown fans. Hey guys, want to play a little game real quick? Alright. Yeah, so um, you know M&M's, everybody knows M&M's. Yeah, of course. Of course. You know caramel M&M's? I do. You do? Oh, well, awesome. I have. They're very good. They're very, would you know them with your eyes closed, what color it might be? We're gonna find out, so you don't have to answer well, that. Let's try it. All right. All right, I'm ready. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. All right. No, no We're doing like one at a time? We're gonna do them one at a time. Okay, so you'll first one. one. Blue. Yes. Sorry. How did he know that? Is that right? How, yes, that was I don't good. know about you, baby. I don't know how much the hat. I'm not sure how I do that. <laughs> <laughs> I figured I had a shot. Did I really get it right? Yeah, you got it right. I don't know. Stick out your tongue. We'll see. Yep, it's blue. That's All pretty right. present. He can see the ball before he even gets it. All right. Out brown. No cheating. Right in the old mouth. I'm going orange again. Orange again? No. Ah, blue. It's all right. That's all right, though. Nice, we'll nice work. Right. It's okay. We time to practice, right? Yeah. Time to practice. We got a long, we got a long, we got a long day. day. Yeah. We got a long day. Well, thanks so much for joining Thank us you. here at Trackside Live. We're awesome. excited to have you. And uh, good luck at the races. Thanks so much. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, man. Thanks for good luck today. Yeah, of course. I mean, it was pretty cool to meet up with Panthers tight end Greg Olson. He was on my fantasy football team, after all. Do you have any uh, Panthers fans out here? I thought there might be some Panthers fans. My only request to Greg Olson after that was to maybe sit out the Arizona Cardinals game. Just in case. You never know. He is pretty good, and he's pretty dreamy, too. I'll give it to him. Hey, guys, are you ready for Ty Dillon? Yes? I thought he might be ready. Now he's making his way over to the NASCAR Trackside Live stage right now. We also have DJ Vinny up here on the ones and twos. Yo, hey. excited to be here. Thanks. Awesome to have you here as well. Now, I know that Jose's out there in the crowd somewhere, ready to interview a fan from NASCAR Trackside Live. Where you at, Jose? Hey, Amy, I'm down here. We've got private for a class. Nathan, how are you doing? And tell us where you're from, first of all. I'm doing good today. I'm uh, from Henderson, North Carolina. Oh, North Carolina. Make some, ma make some noise, North Carolina fans. I know you're out there. Now, tell us a little bit about um, what you're doing here this weekend. It's pretty cool to be part of Memorial Day weekend here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Yeah, we're having a great time out here today. We're actually participating in the uh, pre-race ceremonies. Today for Memorial Day, we'll be doing with the, um, going out with the flags for the national anthem. It is. It's one of the most amazing things in all of motorsports is getting to see Memorial Day weekend here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. An impressive display during pre-race. I'm, I'm really excited to see it. Thank you so much for your service. And again, this weekend is all about remembering those who have fallen. So a big round of applause for Nathan, all the folks here that are helping out, and, it, and definitely a, a, a show of support for those that we've lost. Uh, thank you, and we appreciate it for coming out hanging out with, here with us at Charlotte Motor Speedway. So, Amy, let's go back up to you. We've got uh, a lot of stuff still, still planned for the show today, right? We do. If you're here in the fan zone and you can hear my voice, Kyle Busch will be coming to this stage later today. That's true. Right now we're waiting on Ty Dillon to make his way up here to the stage. we got some driver games. We're going to have some VIP prizes for you guys as well. Hey, Jose, we have some pretty great fans out here, too. I see a lot of military uniforms out here as well. Hello. Now, Jose. Yes, thank you so much, Amy. And while we're waiting for some of our other guests to arrive, we're down here hanging out with you guys, the fans. And I've got a Kyle Busch fan right here. What is it? See, that's all I had to say was Kyle Busch, and I like that. But what do you like about Kyle? What is it? His aggressiveness and 
He's a wheel man. A wheel man. I like to, I hear that a lot about Kyle. And again, whether you, whether you love him or hate him, man, he can drive a race car. Yes, sir. That's it. So are you excited to see him? What do you, what would you ask Kyle Bush question wise? We may, we may use your question. Um, no pressure, right? Yeah, no pressure. <laughs> I, I really, I'd be speechless. I wouldn't know what to ask him. Awesome. Well, that's really cool. Well, you know what? We'll figure out a question and we'll get it over there to Kyle Bush for sure. So we got uh, DJ, we got music, we got lots of fun stuff still in store for you guys here. It's NASCAR Trackside Live. Y'all make some noise. Come on, it's Charlotte Motor Speedway. Woo! Yeah, NASCAR Trackside Live fans. Hey, if you guys have a question for Kyle Bush and you have it on, you know, right here fresh in your mind and you want to go ahead and ask him that, you can do that by getting involved with the NASCAR Trackside Live crew. Tweet your question to hashtag NASCAR Trackside. We'll be sure to get that question answered for you, all right? Also, if you can, ever can make it to a track out here, no fear, we'll catch you on NASCAR.com. Well, actually, right now, all of you are on NASCAR.com right now. So go ahead and turn around, look at that camera, and wave and say, hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. Ha. Hey guys, you know what else we like to do here at NASCAR Trackside Live? We like to do a crazy fan of the week. Do we have any crazy fans out there right now? We do, I see one, I see two, I see a lot actually. Woo! Now there are special prizes involved with this crazy fan of the week. I can't give it away what it is right now, but we've got our eyes on this entire crowd right here. That's right, and after Kyle Bush's interview, we're gonna name one of the Trackside Live's craziest fans. So make sure you keep your energy up, of course. Yeah. Hey, Jose, you down there with another crazy fan? I do, I've got some fans down here. As a matter of fact, I got another Kyle Bush fan here, and we were just talking. What's your name and where are you from, buddy? I'm Aaron, and I'm from Sanford, North Carolina. Nice, another North Carolina local. So talk to me a little bit. You said you had a question for Kyle Bush that you would ask him. What would that be? I would challenge him to a go-kart race to date Samantha nice. Bush. A go-kart go race? And wait, wait, what were the stakes? For me to go on a date with Samantha Bush. Oh. That's pretty bold. That's pretty bold. I don't know. We'll see maybe if we can uh, filter that question through and get it up there. I, I like your style. I like your style. So do you race yourself? No, I do not. Don't race. But that's okay, all right. You know what? Good question, and we're looking for our crazy fan of the week. So make some noise, and we'll come and find you guys. You know what? Let's throw it back up to Amy. Hey, everyone. We are still looking for that crazy fan. You know, we just saw Austin Dillon in the video with Greg Olson. Guess what we have here right now? His brother, Ty Dillon. Woo! Hey, hey. Here you are. So nice to meet you. How's everybody doing? Uh, we all can get louder than that, can't you? Come on. Oh. Awesome. How's it going? Welcome to NASCAR Trackside Live. <laughs> it's great to, to have be you. Here. I've we been watching you on the big screen all week, so it's awesome. uh, nice to finally cool. be here. Yeah, it's well, good. Great to we're, have gl you. we're glad to have you. I got to start out, though, with the M&M question, because, you know, last time during All-Star Week, we did a little taste test, and it was, could you taste the color of the shell of the M&M? And I, I think, if I'm correct, you beat your brother. You actually got it right, and he did not. I did get it right. So uh, I don't know if you can really taste it, but I was a good guesser. <laughs> <laughs> the process of elimination was pretty good. I like that. Well, thank you so much for joining us here. I, I got to start off with this question. It's just announced this week that you are the most interesting sportsman of the year. How about that? I don't, um, I yeah. don't always fish and hunt, but when I do, I use Bass Pro Shops. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was quite the honor. It was pretty cool. We did a, a cool write-up with uh, Finn and Field who, who gives that honor, and I guess I was the youngest one to receive that, so that was really cool, and we've had some fun with the, the namesake of it, too. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's not a bad title to carry around with you. I know, I like that. So this is your very first Coca-Cola 600, right? Mine also. Of course. So what is something that you did to prepare for this? I know you, you ran yesterday. Yeah, I, I raced yesterday in the Xfinity race. I guess that's about as much as I can do to really prepare for this. I, I guess my whole life I've been preparing for this. It's kind of a weird answer, but I've been coming, and my grandfather has a, a condo here in turn one, and I've been coming to this race since I was born. I remember coming, and playing with die-cast cars for about the first quarter of the race, sleeping through the middle half of the race, and then waking up for the end of it and watching it. And 
We've been to Victory Lane a couple of times. I feel like I've watched every single race that's ran here. So this is a special, special race for me and to make my first start in a Coke 600. Uh, I'm a little disappointed I don't get to watch the demonstrations uh, by our troops and everybody before the race from outside the track because it's a really cool view. But to be in the race is amazing. Awesome. You know what? We've got some fan questions for you down there. Awesome. Where are we at? Who we got down there with a fan question? Oh, right down here. What's your name and where are you from, ma'am? Uh, Wendy, and I live in Concord. Okay. Awesome. Wendy, what's your question for Ty? Uh, nice to see you, Ty. Um, what do you think about the Roval, and have you had a chance to test it? Ooh, the Roval. Yeah, I'm very excited about it, and uh, it's a really cool question. So I, I, I'm looking forward to it. I have a cool motorhome parking spot that's outside the track right now. I'm hoping I get that again. So hopefully if somebody from Charlotte's uh, you know, listening right now. But, uh, no, the, the track is going to be so much fun. Um, I've always been fast here at, at this track when we've raced Xfinity and, and trucks, and I've had great opportunities to win races. But for whatever reason, I've had a lot of small issues take me out of, of chances to win. So maybe when we run the Roval, those problems will go away. We'll have some better luck, and, it, and it, hopefully it starts today. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for the fan question. We got a fabulous prize for you. Yeah, thank swag. you. I appreciate it. And also, thanks to Ty Dillon. Stick around. We're going to play a little game with you. What do you think right. about that? Is that cool with you? You want to play some that? games with some totally of these cool. fans out here? Y'all ready? Yeah, they do. Hey, guys, stick around. We also have Kyle Bush coming up. We're going to play some games over here with Ty Dillon, of course. And we also have a look at the last five winners of the Coke 600. NASCAR's longest race, and we continue the world's biggest day in auto racing. Time for the Coca-Cola 600. As the night progresses, the pace will pick up. That's when you need the most patience. That's usually when they're the thinnest. And here we go, over 600 miles in Charlotte. The 13th career win for Casey Kane is the Coca-Cola 600. Did it, yeah. Woo! Rounding turn four for the 22nd win of his cup career. The Coca-Cola 600 goes to Kevin Harvick. How about that? Two-time winner on this race. Good job, boy. Awesome. Great job, man. Great job. Jimmy Johnson got a nice run on turn two, and he lights the bottom. Whoa! Jensen to block. Oh, my gosh. Johnson forces the issue into turn three. That was a little bit more than a block. Flag, Jimmy Johnson's seventh win at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. Well done, Jimmy. Well done, buddy. You did a great job today. Thank you for all your hard work and your pace. Did your brother, that was 48 business all day long right there. Thank you, boys. Carl Edwards makes the move to Joe Gibbs Racing and Toyota pay off as he comes off turn number four to win the Coca-Cola 600. Holy guacamole, buddy. Awesome, awesome job. The race is over, right? The race is over. Checkered flags waving. You see the fireworks. We won the Coca-Cola 600. Great call, Darian. Way to make it up, man. Martin Truex Jr. for single car furniture row racing wins in Charlotte. Freaking unbelievable, guys. I appreciate it, dude. You guys are freaking awesome. Tonight will be remembered as the night Martin Truex Jr. gave a Memorial Day mugging to the best stock car drivers in the world. Welcome back to NASCAR Trackside Live! We're here with Ty Dillon on the side stage. Stick around, we got a ton of games and prizes. And Kyle Busch, it's gonna be a blast. Thank you so much for joining us. And thanks for sticking around, Ty. I appreciate it. Yeah, man, it. thanks for having me. I'm ready to play some games. All right, yeah. let's do this. We created a game just for you as the most interesting sportsman <laughs> of the year. All right. 2017, we have created Aerodynamic. Aerodynamic. All right. All right. I so like here's the sound of it. It's a fantastic yeah. game. Now, okay. we have a fan to play with us, right, we do. Amy? What is your name and where are you from? I'm Debbie, and I'm from Mississippi. All the way Debbie. from Mississippi. Mississippi. How about some noise for Debbie? Come on. She's going to go up against Ty Dillon. Now, Debbie from Mississippi is playing for these Champions Pavilion Passes. Ooh, what do you think? Yeah. nice. Now, Jose, how nice. do we play Aerodynamic? All right. So Aerodynamic is very simple. We have a bow and five arrows. All right, I like this. Yes. This is looking good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I set it up just for you. All right. And we're going to start with Debbie. You have five arrows to get through the Goodyear tire over there. Then we're going to put up tie against you. So are you ready to play aerodynamic? 
She's all right, ready. All righty. So, Debbie, let's step up to the cone right there. We've got a nice little bow and arrow. Now, this is not as high quality, Ty, probably as you're used I to. I kind of feel bad she has to go first because I get to watch the, the trajectory of her arrows. Perhaps and we could get a little help and Oh, what do you think? You, you want right. to give her some pointers over there on how to use a bow? If I'm trying to beat her, I want to <laughs> help her. I mean, <laughs> no, I, I can definitely help you. All right. Um, see that tire? That's where you want to put your arrow through. That's nice. Good. That's good. I like help. that. <laughs> That's like about that. all the help he's going to give you. <laughs> <laughs> all all right, right, so we got five arrows, you. Debbie. Let's get ready here. Y'all make some noise for Debbie. Come on. Here we go. Yeah, take the pressure off. Y'all can get a little louder. Come nope. on. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Fire yeah. one. Go for it. Come on. You got. Oh. Ooh. No. She's got uh, this. Don't worry, Debbie. She's got it. Don't worry. No, she, that was no practice pressure. round. Yeah. Practice round. Yeah, just there you go. go. Ty, step in there and show, give her a little pointer there. I think she's got it. Just let go with your hand. There you go. Pinch the end of that arrow right there. There we go. The Not arrow. so much the string, more the orange. Ah, there, there you go. Yeah, move, there you go. <laughs> oh, move your finger. There you go. Uh, you got your finger caught in it. Here, let's rework this. You did one. All right, here, you I'll go first. How, How about, about Ty? You go we'll first. You know what? Ty's going to step up. Debbie, you, you get to hang on to the mic Don't and you worry, get she's to got commentate on Ty on her here. Side. <laughs> and then you just pinch the outside of the orange to be like this. Oh, <laughs> nice. That was practice, right? That was practice. Right, okay. Ty, you go first. Yeah, go oh, ahead, Ty. I'm you can shoot your five first. Okay. And that first one counted. I'm sorry. Uh. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh. <laughs> Now, if you need to move up a little bit, Ty, you totally can. Come on, keep going, keep going. Here we go. I got crooked arrows here. I think they're, we did do crooked arrows. arrows. He's got three more. All right. So All right. Shooting a curve ball here. There we go. Oh, one, one through. Nice. All right. And How many two do more I need arrows. To make? Two more. Two more arrows. Here right. we go. Looks like Ty, you've done this before. Maybe with a little better equipment. I, I just played this with Austin yesterday. We were running through the house. <laughs> You, and we didn't even prep you, I promise. We didn't let him know on Twitter or anything. Oh, look at that right there. That's what I'm talking about. Never mind. There we go. Robin All right, here we go. Robin of the hood here. Nice shot. Ah. Oh, nice. Last one. Last one. Here we go. Last one. Fire in the hole. You've got one out of four so far. That's pretty talented, huh? They're going to rethink my award. All right, here we go. Ah, oh, you know that what? Counts. That, that counts. counts. No, that, that counts. counts. He's in. All right, Debbie, you're right in. Over All right, Debbie, way. step on up. Well, well, after that performance, go I don't right know if you're going to be able to top it. I think you're doing How's just that? fine. We're going to give Debbie a little bit of help there right there, yeah, too. Sure. What do you guys think? Is that all right for Debbie to step up a little bit? <laughs> yes, yeah. of course it that is. That was not very good, I don't think. It's okay. All right, here we go. Let's us. Oh, that's for one. Here we go. No, you're doing fine. You're doing great. Keep going. Perfect. Oh, oh, shot two. Here we go. Pull it all the way back and keep it in the notch. Pull. There, there you go. The orange. There Let you go. The orange. You know what? Throw, that Throw that last one through. Yes, Yay! Yay! And there last you go. one. Nice Yay! job. All right, go. Debbie's our winner. Congratulations. Debbie's the proud owner of these Champions Pavilion passes. Awesome. Nice. Awesome. Nice round of applause for Debbie. Bryce, round of go. applause Thank for you. Ty Dillon. Thank you, guys. Y'all have fun today. Thank you so much for coming out to NASCAR Trackside Live. Both of you, congratulations to Debbie. Fans, some noise again for Ty Dillon. <laughs> All right, we're coming up in just a minute with Kyle That's Busch. Right. But you know what? We get a chance to hear these guys out there running around the track. Maybe we should take a listen really closely to the scanner sounds. What did we hear over the Coca-Cola 600 last year? Hey, baby, hang on. Way to go, guys. <laughs>
inside. Still inside of your door. Still there at your door. No room yet. Clear. 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 Still there. Clear. Clear. Use it up over here by the door. Off turn four, Martin Truex Jr. for single car furniture row racing wins at Charlotte. All right, how about this, my brother? Victory lane, Martin Truex Jr. and in the chase, baby. Let's go hit something tonight. Hey, you ain't gonna have to do a burnout, hey. Freaking unbelievable, guys. Freaking unbelievable, man. Good man, you too. That was a uh, blue car flat, no call 600, yes, sir. He had to lose all those races, and that God was filling his character to win a big one. And this is huge for us in our hometown and our family and for Johnny and Barney. And we've been through so much. This is just the icing on the cake. It's awesome. It's so cool. And welcome back to NASCAR Track Side Live. Also, if you ever can't make it to the track and you want to tune in, go ahead and do that on NASCAR.com. And guys, guess what? Kyle swept the weekend last week in the All-Star Weekend. Yeah, he did. Let's take a look. It's the final lap at Charlotte, and Kyle Busch has set sail through turn four. Kyle Busch is going to do it again. His seventh win at Charlotte. What an amazing performance by Kyle Busch. Textbook Kyle Busch. How was that not a wreck on that restart? That time, oh, Busch was fastest, oh, he... Larson second, Johnson third. Out front, the candy man, Kyle Busch, wins the All-Star race. Ah, yeah, boys! Awesome job, team. Awesome. Hey, guys, are you ready? You ready? The one, the only. Yes, yes, welcome. Swept the entire weekend. Good to see everybody. Thanks for coming out to Charlotte Motor Speedway today. Yeah. Now, something that's really cool about NASCAR Trackside Live is all these fans can get involved by tweeting their questions to us. Oh, fantastic. So I actually have a question right. from Twitter. <laughs> right yep. on. Let's get it started. Yeah. So, Weslin asked, after winning the trucks and the all-star race, do you have the momentum to carry you through this weekend and sweep Charlotte all together? Uh, I hear you. It's, um... A anytime you're able to win a race, obviously that gives you a sense of momentum. But anytime you can win a race at a racetrack that you're going to race at the next week, I think that's a greater sense of momentum. So, um, you know, having that opportunity last week to uh, to score that win in the All Star race, it's been a long time coming for me to be able to score a Cup win here at Charlotte, and uh, we'd love to be able to back that up here tonight with another win in the Coke 600. I think you have some couple, a couple people rooting for you out here. What yeah. do you think? Are you guys ready for it? I love it. Yeah. I love all those rowdy fans. That's awesome. <laughs> Now, I do have to say, you look an awful lot like my brother-in-law. Okay. I do think. Do you ever get mistaken for somebody? Do you have a doppelganger or anybody running around out there? Um, I heard, I have heard of others that get mistaken for me all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. People, um, I, I hear about it on, on Twitter. People have sent me pictures. Oh, this is my nephew or this is my cousin or this is my brother or whatever. And it looks just like you. Give him a shout out. And I'm like, ah, uh, kind of. You know, I, I asked my wife. I'm like, does that look like me? And she's like, no. <laughs> so, you know. Uh, some people try to pull it, but uh, there's only one, man. Come on. There is only one. I don't know. If you were compared to, uh, let's say, Jake Owen, would that be such a bad thing? I heard you got to meet up with him. Let's take a look. Today we've got country superstar Jake Owen. You got some M&Ms in here? Check out the glove box. Boom. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh this, like, you got to wait up, chicky dude. Right here. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. Back her down. Where are we going, by the way? We're just driving. No, that's cool. We got some ocean over there, right there. We can do I some see that. Beaching. Hey, look at that flamingo right there. You are you a one? flamingo fan? I'm not, not really. 
I'm a huge flamingo. Are you? Yeah. You want at, it? Look at my shirt, man. I got flamingos on my shirt. That was pretty cool. That was fun. Yeah. We, we enjoyed that. We had a neat experience. We were actually driving around kind of where, where I live out at, uh, on the other side of the lake, and we were having some fun, just kind of chit-chatting. And that, that's only, I mean, that was, what, a 15-second snippet, and we were in the car for about 35 minutes. So right. there, there was a lot of interesting conversation, that's for sure, and much of it that's probably never going to make it to production. <laughs> um, but uh, we certainly had fun. Jake Owen, he's a, he's a neat character. Uh, made fun of him a little bit for being a part of the KHI group, Kevin Harvick Incorporated's management team. So uh, picked on him a little bit about that. And uh, what was neat is he says, hey, he called Kevin, says, hey, man, I'm coming to Charlotte. And Kevin's like, all right, right on, man. Let, you know, let's go grab a dinner, a beer, or whatever. He's like, no, I don't, I don't have time for you. I got to go meet Kyle Busch. So what? <laughs> that was, uh, Do you hear that? He blew off Kevin Harvick for Kyle Busch. Uh, he made me feel good anyways for about five minutes. So <laughs> That's fantastic. So M&M's, Walmart, and Operation Gratitude teamed up to share a million thank yous with troops. Tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah, it's a, just a part of what we're doing, and that was kind of where the Skittles car came from at Talladega. We ran the red, white, and blue Skittles car. We're running the red, white, and blue M&M's car for a couple times here throughout the summer months. And it's M&M's and Operation Gratitude teaming up to give thank yous to the many men and women of troops that are overseas. And uh, anybody can go on uh, walmart.com slash say thanks with M and uh, give a thank you message or even buy M&M's products. And for every M&M's products that are bought, uh, they're sh for every one that's bought, they're shipping that overseas. So um, obviously wow. we're, we're helping support those that help support us and give us our freedom over here. So, um, you know, uh, uh, this is a big kickoff weekend for them with Memorial Day weekend, but it's just a huge thank you to everybody that does so much for us. And, uh, and we're really excited to have that program on board through the summer months with M&Ms and Skittles and, and everybody. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. No problem. Yeah, it's, it's fun. So it takes all of us together in order to say thanks. And uh, I, I've done my fair share of the videos and things. And, of course, we also have, um, you know, a, a name on our car here tonight that we're going to take around for some laps and hopefully score a good finish, hopefully a win, yes. and uh, help celebrate in their memory and go to victory lane. Great. Now, I know we have Jose out here in the fan zone with a fan question That's as well. Right. There we're he is. right down here. We've got Cohen from North Carolina. Now, Cohen. What is your question for Kyle Busch? He's right up there. You can look up there and say, ask him. What, what are you asking? Hey, ask Conan. He, did, no, he had a great question. He was like, you know, what's his favorite track? Would he go at a go-kart race with me? What do you think? Would you want to hey, race hey. this guy? You want to race? We can race. <laughs> All right. We can have some fun. He's not. Yes. I like we'll do it. some well, go-kart racing. I like that. You know what? Also, uh, Cohen, Pat, thank you guys so much. And just for that, we got some NASCAR trackside live stuff. We're going to hook you up. All right? Awesome. Hey, Kyle, yeah. would you like to, uh, thank you, Cohen. Oh, happy birthday. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, me, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> to birthday. Happy birthday. All right. Yes. You got hey, it. Kyle, Thanks. what do you say we stick around and play some games with these fans? Is that all right yeah, with you? Yeah, that sounds fun. We're going to have right. a good time with all hey, of our fans here in Charlotte. Hey, you guys stick around. Kyle so. Bush is going to stick around and play some games. Sounds great, right? Of course. Until then, we're going to take a listen to the 2017 standards that we've been hearing. Baby, hang on. Way to go, guys. Ah! Still there, bumper now, 21, bumper. Still outside now. Hang on, hang on, hold on to the brake here. We got a flat tire, Greg. Hold the brake, I'll get you spun around. You get lucky. Who turned us around over there? That was your neighbor. Oh, man. Uh, no more free beer for Blaney. Right yeah. there, Joe Jr. tried to move over. Blaney and Paris, excuse me. What the? Throw me in the fence floor, and then he drives up. I cannot stop. Kurt Busch did not hit. Give me the runs open this time. Just stay out right here. Staying out, staying out. I told you, I told you plenty of time. Who hurt you? Uh, I was supposed to pay to stay out. I told you to stay out. That's what I said on the radio. Murray comes right up in front of her. Basically, no air on the nose if Mark pushed into the wall. Yeah, I don't know what more. Day in my life. What the? There we do. Daytona 500. Let's keep focus here. We'll go look at the photos. Now that's what handling doesn't actually mean anything. We're down a mile and a half. Wait, you see any damage on the right side? Fine, it's fine. Nothing on the right rear corner at all. Just above the tire. Nothing rubbing. Fine. It's all above the tire. It's fine. 11.9 volts. Blowing. Right. Drive until it stops. Then come to Pier Road. 3020 on the leaders. That's great for them. We're real proud of them. Quit being a freaking smart drive. We're doing the best we can, man. Quit it. Focus. 
Wow, here, look at Blaney. The 21 of Ryan Blaney almost made it three wide going into turn one, and he actually made contact with Jimmy Johnson. He said to the guys on the radio, he said, tell Blaney that wasn't very cool. Pretty sure that's your job to do that right now, bud. He's not going to listen to anything we say. We got a long race to go. We need to keep a race car, Jimmy. Express that to the 21. You suggested I go take care of it on the track. So I'm conflicting messages and frustrated with both the 21 and the 42. They can't tell that I'm inside of somebody and there's grass approaching you. And they clob us and send us up the road. Go for it. Take it out on me how you want, but we need that race car. Oh, he moved it. carrier this all right is, that's right so here's how the game works it's really simple we're gonna get a spoon with as many M&Ms as you can carry okay you're gonna hold the spoon in your mouth and you're gonna go down the course around the tires and dump it into the bowl and then back to the bowl all right now as now on the way back to get. the bowl do you have to make another lap no you're good you okay. got it's like right. the roval basically all right. All right. So clean clean way back got clean it. way back right as many as you can get in 60 seconds so Amy who's our contestant over here what's your name and where are you from North Carolina. What's your name? He's from North Carolina. I know that much. What's your name? Landon. This is Landon from North Carolina. All right. Yeah. Landon. Prizes. Did you get all those directions? Got it. I love got it. it. So we have a really cool prize for you. We've got a puzzle that Kyle Bush has signed yeah. just for you. So for fantastic you. Right. prize. So let's go ahead and step up to the table here. All right, ready? We've all got right, Landon, come right over here with me. You're going to be right. on this side. And Kyle, you're over here with me. Now, we've got 60 seconds on the clock. You're going to pick up the M&Ms, put it in your mouth, walk around, dump it in, and come back. You got now, it? I'm going to walk Landon through this one more time, just in case. All Is right. that quite all right? All right, so you're going to pick up as many M&Ms as you can, right? Then you're going to put it in your mouth, like this. There you go. Right? Keep it in your mouth, walk around the tire, drop it in the glass bowl at the end, come right back and get more M&Ms. Got it? Okay, nice here we go. Big round of applause. Let's get ready for Eminem Tire Carry. 60, 60 seconds, seconds on the, on the clock. clock. It looks like it's going to be a tough competition. Uh -oh. <laughs> on your mark, get, get set. set. Let's go, go. race it. Oh, he's actually put him in his mouth. That works, like. it works. <laughs> there we go. There you go. I like it this. He's already back. Come on, you got this. Keep, keep going. going. Keep you know going. what? I like that. I like this kid. He's got one, two, nicely three, four, done. One, two, all the way around. I like his tactic. Oh, I like man, his he's still going. I, I think he's got a little Let's tactic go, that's working for him. Keep up with him. <laughs> Although Kyle looking good. Oh, Kyle just lost one, but he's still got a nice look. Oh, into the bowl. <laughs> well done. Keep going. How many? How much time left on the clock? Oh, he's got, got, 15 <laughs> he's got 15 seconds. 15, 15 seconds, seconds left. left. 15 seconds. Hustle up, you probably got time for one more lap. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Three, two, two one. one. The game's Woo! over. Oh. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, what Kyle's do you think? Bowl. We've got Kyle's bowl over here. Nice there round of go. applause for Kyle. He did a good job. And the very innovative player over here. What do you think? Who won? It's Landon. Congratulations. Nice work, Landon. I think Landon just knows how to play this game a little better. <laughs> you did a great job. And for being awesome. a winner, look at this. We've got a sweet NASCAR team puzzle signed by the man himself. Now, you're going to have to Bush. put it all together so you can see the signature, though. We broke awesome. it up. That's right. Yeah, you got to figure out that puzzle because you certainly figured out this one. That's for sure. <laughs> That's awesome. awesome. Great, man. Good job, Landon. I appreciate that, buddy. Excellent. That was fun. Thank Kyle, you so much to so Landon. No problem. Thank, Thank you, you to Kyle guys. Bush. Thank you, everybody. Thank you to you, the fans. Have a great Kyle night tonight. Bush, Enjoy guys. the race. Have some fun. Thank you so much for sticking around. Also. Right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Landon. Thank you, M&M's, also. Check that out.
All right, guys, thank you guys so much for coming out to NASCAR Trackside Live. Woo! Thanks so much for coming out. It was so much fun here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. What do you say we do this again in Sonoma, Jose? You know what? I'm so looking forward to seeing you guys out there. You can watch this again on NASCAR.com. Yeah. We have got a sweet highlight package for you. Let's take a look at the best moments from this episode of NASCAR, NASCAR Trackside Live. Live. That's it. 